Hey, what's up guys? Alex Khan here. Sorry for that really awkward intro. Last night I had the pleasure of attending the Barbie blowout party, which is basically just an advanced early screening of the Barbie movie before its official release date. But yeah, this was an AMC theater over by, by Disney Springs. I saw that they were selling the, uh, the AMC exclusive item, which is a, a Barbie Corvette popcorn container. I knew I had to have it, but last night they were only selling it as part of the combination deal, which meant I had to buy this uh, Barbie movie uh, doll, which I already have. I didn't want to. I didn't want to buy it again, but I had to in order to get the Corvette. Um, the reason why I spent the extra uh, cash for this is because if I wanted to get this by itself, I would have to go through the online website, and we all know how that website is. It times out a lot. And when there's thousands of other people trying to get the same thing, it's just impossible to get it. And if I went to the theater another day, this item might have been sold out. So I spent, I think it was like $69 to get this combination deal. You know, I probably could use this doll. I can use this for the, uh, for the, the, the fashion pack. But for this video, I'm going to be answering the question, should you buy the, the Barbie popcorn container Corvette. Um, so right off the bat, I'll say if you're a collector and you're trying to buy all this Barbie movie merchandise, then yeah, go ahead and buy it. But if you just want one uh, Barbie uh, movie car, the only one you need is this more expensive one. This is the, the Barbie movie uh, collectible, the collectible car, which is a much bigger scale, but it's the most accurate looking one. And it's definitely to scale with the, uh, the the dolls. The dolls fit all three cars, but in terms of size, um, the doll looks best with the, the collectible car. The only drawback to the collectible car is that it's a bit more expensive. It's like $75 retail. And that's only if it's available on the Mattel website. A lot of times it's not, but it's been going back in stock quite a few times. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the best version. The uh, the Mattel uh, collectible car. Now, um, let's let's take a better look at this at this popcorn container. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's about the same size as the the RC car, as you can see. Um, the RC car might be a few centimeters longer, but it's it's basically the same size. Um, the biggest uh, immediate difference, though, is the shade of pink. The RC car looks a lot more accurate in terms of color compared to the uh, the AMC popcorn container. This is way too too dark a shade of pink. I don't know why they made it this color when they could have easily made it this color, and that would have made this popcorn con container a lot more desirable. Um, one advantage of the popcorn container over the RC car, though, is the popcorn container actually has the back seat of the Corvette. If you watch the movie, you're going to know that this Corvette, for some reason, does have a back seat. So in this regard, the popcorn container is a bit more accurate. Um, something that's um, also to note, the RC car has a sticker for the, uh, for the instrument panel in, on the inside, whereas the uh, popcorn container um, it has a bit more, more details in terms of, of depth on the instrument panel. So that, that's something to note. Um, None of the doors open on the popcorn container. The hood doesn't open, the doors don't open, the trunk doesn't open. Uh, it does have the Barbie movie license plate on the front and the back. The details are actually pretty good. Um, it just feels like a really cheap plastic. But apparently this was made to hold popcorn. Sure, I guess you could put popcorn in here. But by that argument, I could put popcorn in the RC car if I wanted to. I could even put it in the trunk. I could put even more popcorn in the in the collectible car because this one has an opening trunk and has a lot more space in the interior. So I, being a popcorn container is, is kind of weird. I, I, I don't know why they, they call it that, but it's not really a popcorn container. Uh, but yeah, the, the Barbie doll, it'll fit in all three cars. Even the popcorn container. Let's try to fit her inside. Dang. It's a really tight fit with this one. Because of the steering wheel. 
I'm trying to get her in. Holy cow. This is really frustrating. There you go. Finally got her in. It's really tight. She looks really tiny. Or I mean, she looks really big compared to the car here. Look at that. She does fit, but what are you going to do if you want popcorn? Do you put the popcorn in with Barbie and then just eat around her? I, I don't, I'm confused by that. So yeah, she looks really big compared to the car. Again, the Barbie doll looks best with the with the collectible car because the collectible car is a much bigger scale. This is about a one eighth, maybe one six scale. I, th I think it's a one eighth scale, maybe one six. But you can see she looks way better compared to this. So that's basically my look at this at this popcorn container. I know a lot of you wanted to buy this. It, it does look cool. I, again, if you're a collector, you want all the merchandise, and yeah, definitely get it. But if you're, let's say you're saving money, or you just want one car, then you don't need to buy this. Like, the, the collectible car is enough. The, the collectible car is definitely enough for anybody. Like, I, I kind of regret buying the, these two. I would have been so happy just getting the, uh, the collectible car, and I would have saved a lot, a lot of money. But this will still look really cool um, on display. Like, you know, your friends can come over, they can say, hey, why do you have three, three Barbie movie cars? And you can tell them, you know, I like wasting my money.